Today's scripture uh, reading, I'd ask that you turn to James 2. I will read verses 14 to 26. And I'll give you just a second or two or three to get there. Brad touched on how uh, neat of a book in the Bible James is, and I want to affirm that. I think it's one of the neatest books. It's only five verses, but or five chapters, but there is just so much in this this book of the Bible. I don't think I have a book that I have more highlighted or underlined in because there's just it's just packed so full. Starting at verse 14. What does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you do not give them the things which are needed, to, for, needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without, my, without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you not know, O foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by f works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with works? And by works, faith was made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled, which says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. 